Because if you have too much water, you'll drop your sodium levels and you could, you know, feel faint. You could have diarrhea. You could have vomiting. Or in the worst cases, if you drop it very, very low, you could have a seizure. So you don't want to do that. Same with the food. You need to have uh, enough hypernourishment to stimulate cellular repair, but you don't want to get your potassium levels too high. If on dialysis, can you still drink a gallon of water a day or will it mess up electrolyte balance? Uh, most people on dialysis cannot drink a gallon of water a day. So if you are on dialysis, uh, then you now have kidney failure, right? Your body cannot, uh, it cannot process the electrolytes, the fluids that your kidneys are supposed to, right? So you actually need machines to do that for you. So we have to change the program, that scenario. And, you know, all of you guys are probably aware, I've worked with many people with kidney failure and helped them reverse the disease, right? To get kidney function back. I've published this as well. However, we do have to do things to optimize the program, and that's usually personalized when it comes to, uh, to kidney failure. So anybody who's in kidney failure, especially people on dialysis, if you're stage four, stage five, you need to get weekly labs, which dialysis does for you anyway. And we look at the labs. I look at the labs <laughs> and I determine, uh, is your uh, food intake and your water intake optimal, too much or too little? So uh, the starting point for you should be whatever the water restriction is from your doctor. So usually your nephrologist will tell you how much water you can have without overdoing it. Because if you have too much water, you'll drop your sodium levels and you could you know, feel faint, you could have diarrhea, you could have vomiting, or in the worst cases, if you drop it very, very low, you could have a seizure. So so you don't want to do that. Same with the food. You need to have uh, enough hypernourishment to stimulate cellular repair, but you don't want to get your potassium levels too high. So that's why I really love doing rapid recovery with people who have kidney failure so that I can stay on top of it and keep making adjustments based on the symptoms and based on the labs until we get the maximal nourishment your body can handle, the maximum hydration your body can handle without going over. So again, for, for anyone who's got organ failure, I really recommend if you have organ failure to work with me because it's one can be dangerous, right? We have to make sure that you don't overdo it, um, where as much as you need the nourishment that you don't cause harm because your body's just so weak, it can't handle it. Um, but also because there's limited time left. If your organs are failing, if you get it wrong, you've lost time and you might have lost function. So I do think it's better to do rapid recovery if you can with that issue. But if you absolutely can't or won't, and you can't even or won't even do an, uh, a wellness appointment, you're going to have to be very careful stepwise working on nutrition using the restrictions that your, uh, that your doctor gave you.